My name is Lincoln Anthony Blaze. I write about politics and culture, and I'm also a millennial. I want to talk to you about millennial entitlement. Millennials, in case you were wondering, are those of us born between the early 80s and 90s. We're frequently the subjects of studies and think pieces trying to figure out what we want and why we're struggling in today's economy. The usual conclusions are, we're lazy, coddled, unfocused, and fragile. Terms which fall under one singular label, millennial entitlement. It's a term used to degrade our competency and work ethic, but that term is nonsense. Allow me to explain. Growing up, we were taught that if we went to school, worked hard, and got good grades, we'd get good, well-paying jobs. So we took that advice, and we went on to become the most educated generation this nation has ever seen. A recent survey revealed that 36% of employers had begun hiring university graduates for jobs that once only required a high school degree. And we're not talking about high-level jobs, we're talking about mailroom attendants and telemarketers. The choice faced by many of my peers is this. Hunt for a dead-end, low-paying job you're overqualified for, or accept an unpaid internship along with thousands of other young Canadians and pray you get a job in your chosen field. Despite having the world's third highest level of educational achievement amongst OECD countries, we lead those countries in having the largest share of graduates earning less than the national median income. But these facts don't paint the full picture. We're regularly labeled as entitled narcissists who demand work-life balance because we're too soft to deal with hard work. But maybe those who have this view don't realize that a decade ago, my generation was forever changed by the global economic crisis. Older millennials, like me, found ourselves facing our first mass layoffs at jobs we'd only been at for a few years. People 28 and younger accounted for almost 70% of the job losses during the 2008 recession. Millennials graduating from university at the time faced a job market so grim, they just went back to school. And if you were in high school or college back then, you saw your parents unceremoniously lose the jobs they devoted so much of their entire lives to. We saw and experienced what blind corporate devotion gets you, and we want no part of it. And now, here we stand, 10 years later, thrust into a new economy and facing a new reality we were never prepared for, and we're making the best of it. Many of us have side hustles that we use to supplement our income in order to survive and get ahead. That isn't the mark of a lazy and entitled generation. That's the work of a group determined to create their own chances and their own luck. For The National, I'm Lincoln Anthony Blaze.